You can see right here, I'm, I'm getting ready to serve. All I do is throw that ball up in the air. And when I, oh, jeez. And there goes the tennis racket. Hi everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Virtua Tennis games for the Nintendo Wii. Virtua Tennis 2009 is a great game. It uses a similar motion control scheme as Wii Tennis. The career mode consists of two main things, mini games and matches, and both are great, but not in the way it was implemented in the game. Entering a tournament or playing a mini game will take up a week of your schedule, as well as reducing your stamina, resulting in injuries if you don't rest often enough. I don't know about you, but I prefer games where I have the freedom to have fun in both, rather than watching not to get too tired in a video game and get virtually injured. Also the game has some huge discrepancies in difficulty. While the created players don't challenge you that much, pro real life players are tough, really tough, which is great for the challenge seeking people, but the difficulty curb isn't actually a curb in this game, it's more of a cliff. But all in all, the game is fun, the mini games are creative and the tennis part of this tennis game is well done. Virtua Tennis 4 is not a motion control game, you don't swing your Wiimote around like you would in Wii Tennis. But instead, in Virtua Tennis 4 you hold your controller sideways and play like this. And it works out way better than having motion controls, in my opinion, I mean compared to the other Virtua Tennis game. Because aside of Wii Tennis, Many who try to implement motion controls in a tennis game for the Wii ended up with either a boring or an unresponsive game. But if you prefer motion controls, Virtua Tennis 4 lets you play with them too, but only in exhibition matches. I don't know why they didn't keep the option throughout the whole game to play with both. I mean why not let players choose which control scheme they want since you already programmed both. As game modes, aside of exhibition matches, you get a World Tour mode and an Arcade mode. World Tour is this board game-like campaign. It consists of two things, matches and minigames. Minigames help you level up, and matches, well, you progress in the game. Your created character is a nobody that wants to climb the leaderboards. And it's sometimes annoying that if you don't pay attention, you can lose matches because you were in a minigame and didn't make it in time to the match. So as a conclusion, it's up to you which one you prefer. If you want to play Virtua Tennis with motion controls, then get Virtua Tennis 2009. But if you prefer to play Virtua Tennis with the controller held sideways, then get Virtua Tennis 4. In gameplay, they don't differ that much. I mean, sure, you get different minigames, but as for the gameplay formula, the games are pretty similar and are both fun. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.